Hello, Yulika and I are back with more about Minnesota and the Minnesota State Fair. Thanks for joining us. Um, now I'm going to tell you Minnesota State symbols. Maybe you know some of these. Um, the official bird is the loon. The insect is the monarch butterfly. The flower is the showy lady slipper, which is a type of orchid. The tree is the Norway pine. Um, the drink is milk. The fish is walleye. And the fruit is the honey crisp apple. Have you had a honey crisp? I hear they're really, really good. I've never had one. <laughs> am I? A transplant. Oh well. Anyway, now um, here is some trivia about the fair. When it was canceled and why? The fair, since its inception, has run pretty steadily and has only been canceled six times. Now I bet all of us know one of those times. <laughs> Um, the first time, first two times, uh, was 1861 and 1862 because of the Civil War and the U.S.-Dakota War. Then in 1863, there was a scheduling conflict with the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. Uh, the fourth time was in... 1945, uh, there were uh, government uh, travel restrictions, federal travel restrictions during World War II. 1946 was canceled because of the polio epidemic. And the time we all know about and remember, 2020, last year, canceled because of the COVID pandemic. However, they did have a drive-through where if you were lucky enough to get a ticket, you could drive through the fair uh, and they had entertainers along the driving route and you could pick up some of your favorite fair food. So I thought that was a pretty ingenious way that they could still have something like the fair. Anyway, I thought that was a really good idea and I'm glad that they, that they did it. I didn't go. <laughs> um, oh, well, okay, let me explain. I am gluten-free and dairy-free, so there's really not a lot of fair food that I can eat. I know they have some gluten-free fair food, <clears throat> but um, yeah, I'm also mostly sugar-free and low-carb, so there's very little at the fair that I can eat. And um, please forgive me for digressing. I hope that that is not too much information. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm going to sing now. Well, before I sing, I want to talk a little bit about the song. The song for this video and for the following two videos are all about Minnesota. I believe that they were written by Minnesotans and they are all from around the turn of the 20th century, the, from the early part of the 20th century. So the song that I'm singing now is To Minnesota. Oh, I want to mention this song has eight verses. I'm not singing eight. <laughs> I'm going to sing three verses. You're welcome. We tune our voices, unite in toast to me. Whose name and story 
I didn't mention, the name of that song is To Minnesota. And I want to thank Brad Bradshaw for bringing these songs to my attention. Um, I sang these with a group that he used to direct. So thank you, Brad, and hi, Brad. <laughs> um, that's all that I have for now, and I will see you next time at the 86th Street Performing Arts Center. Thanks. Bye.